My name is Ben Sivier and I'm an assistant professor at the KCI Institute, Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. I'm a neuroscientist and in addition to teaching students in the School of Medicine, I run a research lab where we understand vision and how vision is impacted by disease. I design experiments to help us understand how visual information is processed by the retina and how this visual information is transmitted to the brain. I also apply these principles to understanding how the retina is impacted by diseases that cause blindness. The retina, which is part of the brain, is a thin piece of tissue that sits at the back of the eye. Light travels through the front of the eye before hitting the retina, where it's processed by a neural circuit. This information is then sent through the optic nerve to the brain. One particularly challenging disease that impacts the retina is called glaucoma. Glaucoma is a disease that causes death to the cells in the retina that form the optic nerve. The optic nerve is a delicate cable that connects the eye with the brain. Damage to this cable caused by glaucoma results in irreversible blindness. Glaucoma is a major public health problem with profound economic costs. It's the leading cause of irreversible blindness in the world, and it affects over 3 million Americans, many of whom don't know they have the disease. Glaucoma also disproportionately affects minorities, and it's the leading cause of blindness in African Americans and Hispanics, who are many more times likely to have this disease. It's thought to cost the economy approximately $3 billion per year, and this amount is projected to increase substantially in the next 10 years as our population grows and ages. Often called the silent disease, glaucoma progresses slowly and can remain unnoticed until vision loss is advanced. This is because glaucoma is difficult to detect as we currently understand little about the disease. The cause of glaucoma remains unclear. However, early diagnosis can significantly reduce the financial burden by allowing earlier treatment. This highlights a need for research into the early detection of glaucoma, but also in preventing retinal neurons from... This highlights a need for both research into the early detection of glaucoma, but also to treating the underlying disease. In collaboration with a group of Casey researchers, my research aims to understand the early changes caused by glaucoma. We used advanced genetic animal models to visualize specific types of retinal neurons. We also use advanced microscopy to detect the minute subcellular changes that occur days following injury. In addition to this, we record sensitive electrical signals from individual cells in the retina to tell us exactly which parts of these neurons are becoming injured uh, early after injury. In addition, we record unique electrical signals from these neurons that tell us about how they're impacted by disease. My research has identified a new cellular marker of glaucoma that becomes present in a specific set of neurons called retinal ganglion cells. But this is only the beginning because we now hope to team up with a group of world-leading Casey researchers to take this to the next step and see if these markers are visible in patients. In addition to studying the early signs of injury in the retina, my lab also identifies retinal neurons that are uniquely resistant to injury. With a major injury to the optic nerve, most retinal neurons die within the first two weeks following injury. We have discovered a cell type that remains alive, and we think we know why. Understanding how this cell type resists injury is the secret to the immortality of the retina. And we hope that in the next five years, we can apply these principles to design a therapy that will halt the progression of glaucoma completely.